Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got two transceivers in the shack that I've been using lately, and the one you're most familiar with is the ICOM 7610. The other one is the Elecraft K3 that was upgraded to an S back in 2018 by the factory. You can find out more about this and these radios on my website, www.k0pir.us. In this video, we'll look how each radio is configured for the best reception in single sideband. But before we get into that, please like, subscribe, and click on that bell so you're notified when I put out the next video. In the last video, and I'll link it up here, both receivers were left wide open. So if you pull them out of the box, that's probably how they're going to sound. Not terrible, but it can be improved. In this video, we'll tweak the sideband reception a little bit and make it more pleasant to listen to. I have an article on my website that will accompany this video, so please go there and check out that webpage. Again, it's the k0pir.us, and I'll put a link below, and I'll put a link up here. One of the first things you want to look at is the AGC, and in both radios, I have it set to slow on sideband, and that's pretty normal for these band conditions. The band's been pretty good lately on 75 meters, and in the ICOM 7610, they have a mid setting, which is also good. In the video, we'll look at the RX tone control on the ICOM and configure it. In the Elecraft K3S, they have a receiver equalization, and I'll show you how, set, how I have it set up on mine. They do approximately the same thing, but one is easier to configure than the other, and that's going to be the ICOM. The Elecraft is much more detailed. We'll also take a look at the filter settings, and I like 2.8K and 2.4K bandwidth while listening to sideband. Your preference may be something else, but with both of these radios, you'll be able to set them up the way that you want. Noise reduction is good on both, but I don't use too heavy a noise reduction setting on either radio. In the ICOM, I usually set it to three. The noise blanker takes out noise for some lights around my house, but most of the time I don't need the noise blanker. Now, here's an important setting because it will reduce the noise floor. Both radios have RF gain, however, in the ICOM, I use the incremental ATT instead of the RF gain to reduce the noise floor. This works especially well, and more about that later on my website. There are a few more things you can do to improve the received quality for sideband, and I'll get, I'll get to them in another video. For instance, there's the twin passband tuning in the ICOM, and the Elecraft has high and low cut passband tuning. I can't tell you which one's better, Listen to the video and tell me what you think. To keep things simple, I sometimes use the IF shift in the Elecraft, and the same technique can be applied on the ICOM. So sit back and listen, and remember you can apply these techniques to just about any modern transceiver. Please comment below, because comments really do help out my channel. And if you can't think of anything to say, just list what radio you have and the controls you use. Thanks for watching, and now on to the video. Go ahead, Perry. All right, Jerry. Well, by golly, I'll check in with you. <laughs> For sure. Anyway, uh, uh, let's see. Hey, we're 56 degrees this morning. My golly, uh, we're higher than our, than our highway is supposed to be. So, uh, anyway, I think they got a little chance of rain coming and uh, later in the day and some kind of truck coming through or something. Anyway, that's kind of story here. We're just up and about here on a Friday morning. I'm, Getting coffee and uh, thinking about breakfast and all that, uh, to get ourselves moving uh, for the last uh, work day of the week. Uh, anyway, Jerry, thanks for being here. Do the duties. We'll catch you and everybody on the breakfast club down the page. KB, throw you on the Okay, Perry. Thanks for stopping by and have a good day down there. Good. Okay, KB, zero, 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 Go ahead, Pierre. Oh, thanks very much, Gary, for that, man. Appreciate it. I just got back from my walk, and uh, let's see. It's 44, 4, 4 degrees outside. Holy cow. Uh, in Crystal Lake, Illinois. So, uh, thank you very much for bringing me in. Uh, say hello to Face out there. Uh, 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 party today. Come on, uh, Gary. I hope you're doing well. Uh, uh, Roberto. Bob, down there. Donna's Grove. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, thanks so much, Gary, for bringing me in. You do a cool job. I like the way you do it. This is Kilo 9, Echo Yankee Echo, here in Crystal Lake, Illinois, at 74 degrees. Countdown for now. Over. There's sofas, couches, Chester, Fields, and Davenport. Over. Yeah, but there's another one. It's another meeting at Chesterfield is a man's plain, straight overcoat, typically with a velvet collar. So it means a, a, a divan or a couch or whatever and a man's coat. So uh, they say you should learn something new every day. So thank you, Pierre. Roger, Roger. Is it coat, C-O-A-T, or cloak? Coat, a man's plain, straight overcoat. Typically with a velvet collar. Okay, I know what those look like. I know what those look like. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. K9 EYE. Morning, Pierre. Morning, Bay. Okay, Pierre. Feeling good. So, got time for one more, maybe. One more check in. W0TRD. Well, you're my tail gunner, my boy. Go ahead. Good morning to you, Jerry. Hope things are well for you over in Prairie City, Illinois. Things are okay up here in Iowa City, where it is 41.0. Morning low and teetering there, Jerry. There it goes back to 41. Well, barometer of 29. Got 949 inches. Golly, 29.549 inches of mercury holding steady. No wind, no rain. Should be a beautiful day in the neighborhood as we head up to, you know, 56 or 57 degrees again. And and I saw 56 yesterday afternoon. It sure was nice. And uh, went out for a short ride on the motor scooter and and uh, had a nice time with that. Took a little little putt down a winding winding country road. It was a nice ride. So, big day ahead of us. We're charging into the weekend here and trying to get things wrapped up on Friday. And uh, boys are working double four time and I'm doing about as little as possible. Good morning to Bill coming up for the next hour. Put me in and out of there, Bill, at 41 degrees. W0TRD, Iowa City, best 7-3. Morning, Betty Lou. Morning, Jerry. Okay then, Mark. Thanks for stopping by, and you have a good day out there in Iowa City. Okay, I see it's six bells are being a little absent, so we'll turn it over to Bill, W-A-T. Well, that's all. Through the Thanks, Bill, for being there, and it's all yours. This is KB9DEH, clear the practice club. Well, thank you, Gary. As always, a good job, bud. And uh, like I tell you, I know you don't believe me. You think I'm just trying to be uh, smarter or something. But, yeah, you're a tough act to follow, I'll tell you. You really are. I don't know who's tougher, you or Mark, but it's, it's the real tie. Anyhow, uh, I did something this morning I don't typically do. I just throw down a bunch of calls. And uh, some of you may or may not want to be on the next temperature there, and you know, if you don't show up, I'll just move on. Well, who are we? Mm -mm, I don't know. Oh, yeah, here it is. The Breakfast Club where old timers are never forgotten and newcomers, yep, prepared, uh, should be limited, not divided. In other words, common sense. Everyone's welcome. Uh, if you'd like membership information, that is in our bi monthly newsletter. And uh, I'll be more than happy to send you a copy of that. If you'll send me an email request at wa 0 alpha box dot delta. If somewhere it says, hey, Bill, send me the, the uh, membership application or the BC newsletter or something like that, and I'll send you a copy. Uh, Bill in Chesterfield, Missouri. Uh, and before we get started here, I'm going to request a moment of silence. Of course, yesterday was uh, December the 7th. And I watched quite a bit of uh, footage uh, on TV yesterday. 
Kenya, like the remember those who have given their life in defense of our freedoms and also those silent keys to the past. Out of respect, please, a moment of silence.